Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am here today with an absolute beginner's Tinkercad house. So let's get cracking. Friends, first things first, I am on my website, hlmodtech.com. It has got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing lessons. And friends, if you ever want to reach out, it has a sweet built-in messaging button. You can click that button, add your information, and reach out to me almost instantly. Friends, real quick before we dive in, I want to mention to you that on my website, before I teach my kids the first Tinkercad lesson, we do make the code blocks table and the code blocks chair. All right, friends, to get to Tinkercad, you can look for the link in the description or you can just type Tinkercad and press enter. When you get to this screen, I always choose login and then I choose personal accounts and I choose sign in with Google. Once you pick your account, it'll pop up and you can choose continue. When you see this tutorial, I tell you to click the X. I also get rid of this little screen and friends, you simply click create new design. Friends, our first step is to learn how to rename it. Simply click that box. Let's call it house and put our initials. I am on V6 because I've done this more than once. When you've got that done, we're going to add our first shape. To do so, come over here to the basic shapes and bring out the red cube. Click to set it down. It has got corners. We're going to click on one of those corners. And from the front, we're going to just change this to size 100 and press enter. Notice it stretches. This is called the view cube. I want you to click the corner and I want you to click that front corner so we can see this side. Instead of 20, I'm going to tell you to make it 60 and press enter. Once again, we're going to click another handle. This time we want the handle that says 20 because that's the up handle and I'm going to tell you to make it 40. That's going to be our house. Let's make it a brown or whatever color you think your house should be. Now we're going to cut out the walls. We're going to do that by hitting duplicate and then I want you to use the arrow keys to move it somewhere else. We're going to take the second one and make it a hole. I want you to click on the height and instead of 40 I want you to make it 45 so that way it's easy to tell which is which. We're going to click on these measurements. Instead of 60 to make walls I'm going to have you type 56 so we subtracted 4 and then instead of 100 we're going to do 96 so we're subtracting 4. Friends, with these two shapes, we're going to select them both by dragging a box that grabs them. And then it says two shapes and we're going to choose a line. I want you to make sure you're looking at it from a corner and then choose the middle selection. Notice the point of the arrow has to touch that dot and I click. Then we're going to look at the other corner. And once again, the point of the arrow has to touch that dot and then I click. Friends, when you hit group, you will now have a cut out set of walls for your house. How slick is that? It is time everybody to add windows. Check it out. We're going to do that with what's called the whole box. When you bring this out, I want you to hold shift with one hand, stretch it up to crazyville with the other hand, change the number in one of the boxes to size 10. Instantly, this just resized to 10 on every side because we were doing shift scale. That's one of the shortcuts I want you to understand. Now we're going to put several windows on this house. I want you to hit duplicate and I want you to use the arrow keys to move it. Notice it was moving one millimeter at a time. We're going to switch the grid to five millimeters at a time. Notice it moves now a lot faster. I'm going to tell you to do control D. That's the shortcut. And we're going to set this window over for the extras. We're going to take our first two windows and we're going to align them. So notice I just grabbed the rectangle and window one. I left the others alone. Notice it says two shapes. We're going to do a line. I want the house to be the master. So I'm clicking on it and I want to go to this edge and I'm going to look at this from the corner so you can see it better. And I want it to go to the front edge. Now, because of our five millimeter nudge friends, if we go one nudge over, it moves in five millimeters and then I'm going to lift it up 15 millimeters by doing control and going up one, two, three. Three fives is 15. I'm going to do the same thing for this window. Notice I'm grabbing these two. I'm choosing a line. I want to make the brown one the boss. And I just want to go to this edge and I want to go to this edge. Once again, I'm going to go one click over and three clicks up. That, my friends, is how easy it is to get our windows in place. Real quickly, let's grab them. 
and group them so you can see how they cut out. How slick is that? It is time to add a door. We're going to do that by clicking on our old cube, doing Control D, and then doing our shortcuts to move it over. We need to make this taller. So instead of 10, I'm going to tell you to make it 20. And we are going to align it. It's this easy. Select them both. Click Align. Click the brown one. And once again, we're going to choose that center dot. And we want it to go to the front edge. Remember, if you're having trouble understanding those edges, if you look at it from a corner, it makes a little more sense. Now we've already grouped this and I don't want to have a group of groups. So real quickly, I'm going to ungroup. And now when I group it, it'll be one group with the windows and the doors. Trust me, this is just a smarter way to build. All right, everybody, you've got your windows cut out and you've got your spare for later. Let me show you something absolutely epic. If you double click, we can click on that window inside. So see this pink border? That means we are editing. If you take these black handles, you can stretch them to whatever size you want to make your windows custom. So I'm gonna just stretch these out and stretch them up as I make them look totally different. When I click somewhere else, they become permanent again. If I double click and go in there, I can also just change the measurements. Say I want those to both be 15. I can make sure they are both 15 and it lets you customize your windows. Now friends, this gets even cooler. Watch this. Ungroup everything. Click on window one and hit duplicate and make the second one red. This is just so you can tell you did it and then lock it. So notice it's purple so it can't change. We're going to click on our door. Notice it's hard to click on. I'm going to just click on the big building and hide it. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to do control D to duplicate, make the second one red and lock it. I'm going to click on this window. Once again, control D, which is the same as this button, make it red and lock it. So notice we have six shapes right here. If I do show all and grab everything, it will show that I have got seven shapes. I am going to group them. And then friends, are you ready for this? I'm going to unlock my door and I'm going to make it whatever color I want my door to be. I'm going to take my window and I'm going to switch it to blue, unlock it, and I'm going to make it, are you ready for this, transparent. Friends, we have got glass looking inside our windows. Now, if you remember, I made this measurement for the wall too. So if you just type two and press enter, it fits perfectly in place. I'm going to unlock this one. I'm going to change my color to the blue and I'm going to make it transparent, which you can do with the letter T. If you just hit T, it'll go transparent as well. And then friends, you could shrink it manually or just type two so that it fits perfectly in place. All right, everybody, if we look down from the inside, you'll notice our door is not the right size. I got a new command for you. If we hit F for fit view, you can see it zooms right down to it. Let's hide our building and let's click on that measurement and change that to two, just like we did for the windows. Now, friends, I'm going to hit the home view, which is also a new one I want to show you. And when we click show all, we have got a house with windows and an amazing door. All right, so keep track of all those skills. You've learned how to group, hide, ungroup. You've learned how to cut out holes. You've learned transparency. Friends, now we're going to learn how to put things where we want. This is called the work plane. When you click it, it's asking you where you want to set your next part. We want to set a roof up on the wall. Now the work plane is up there. Friends, simply bring out the roof and it is ready to add to your house. Now I want to rotate this. So if you move out to the front, you'll see a rotation handle. I think the easiest way is to just type 90 and press enter. If you've got that handle, you can adjust it. Notice this is one degree at a time. If you stay in the middle of the circle, it snaps at 22 and a half degrees at a time. Friends, we simply click on that roof and use the black handles. Friends, I'm just going to remind you, don't use the white handles because it goes two directions at a time. I'm going to just hit undo, which is control Z. Always stick to these black handles. It is a lot easier to get it to look the way you want. To put the work plane back on the ground, friends, we simply click on the blue edge down here. Now we do want to align this. I want to make sure you don't mess up the rest of your house. Click on the brown piece, hold down shift and click on the green piece. Choose a line and make the brown the boss. 
That way you can choose center and you can spin it from the corner and choose center. Notice the green one moved instead of the brown moving to where the green was. Friends, that is our lesson. I'm gonna stop giving you new pieces here. It is your job to just use those skills to see how incredible you can make your house. I am gonna remind you that there are other cool parts you can have. If you click on your creations, you can search and hopefully you have made the chair. So if I type chair and press enter, there is the awesome chair that we created using code blocks. I'm also gonna bring in my table. I simply type in table in the your creation search. So notice these are parts we made using code blocks and then you can bring them in. Now these are too large. So what we just do is shift shrink. You'll probably want to switch to your one millimeter nudge. I'm going to do shift shrink and get this to the size I want. I'm going to click on the building and I'm going to hide it and I'm going to just set my pieces inside and arrange them. So I like where they're at. I want to have two chairs, so I'm going to do control D, use my nudge to move it across. Here's a new one for you. Shift nudge goes 10 times as far, and then I'm going to type my 90 degrees for where it rotates and sits. Just like that, we have got a table and chairs. I can stretch it so it looks exactly the way I want. It's totally fun, and there is so much room for you to make yours more and more epic. And we can even peek in through the transparent windows. Friends, as you keep making this more and more awesome, don't forget you can also click on places like creatures and characters and bring in people like the celebrating kid. Notice you can shrink him so he fits in. You could bring in Blanky, you can add eyes. Go down to scenery, explore all of these places, see what you can add to make your house the coolest ever. Remember, shift, stretch, all these cool skills I've given you. Have fun and see just how epic your creation can be also friends remember if you do make one that you want to share with me it is so simple you can click this button right here generate a link copy the link and then you can reach out and share it with me i am hl my tech on facebook instagram gmail and tiktok you can also find me on twitter i am hl tinkercad if those options aren't available to you don't forget you can also visit hlmodtech.com it is my website with the page dedicated to tinkercad and down at the bottom there is the sweet built-in messaging tool friends you can click that button add your information hit send and reach out to me almost instantly quickly friends i want to highlight the invite to the tinkercad community discord friends there are more than 200 members here it is a fantastic place to talk anything tinkercad Friends, I also want to highlight the designer showcase. If you look out here, we have the designer directory, tons of amazing profiles for you to check out. There is also the nuclear reactor with tutorials for how they work and where you can request your very own shout out of the projects you're making. Finally, friends, I want to say thanks for following the tutorial and I hope you had a ton of fun. And of course, if you did, please give the video a like, please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.